G'day, I'm Anthony Rako from the Banner Brothers fishing team. Today we're going to be demonstrating the correct way to rig a kingfish knife jig. Now you might have used knife jigs for other species as well, they're working so well these days, but there's a right and a wrong way to do it. Now with knife jigs, I like to use standard monofilament line, not fluorocarbon. That's because it, I don't want it to impede the action of the jig as it's going through the water. So today we've got a 100 pound mono, just standard leader. And because it's also standard leader, it's not as stiff as fluorocarbon, so we're simply going to tie it on. Now it's important to tie it on to the solid ring of the knife jig, not the split ring. The split ring has sharp edges and it's not strong enough and it can cut through the line. Okay, if not, the split ring can actually straighten out. So it's really important to use the solid ring. So today I'm just going to use a standard uni knot, so I'll pass the line through the eye of the solid ring, form a loop, pass it through three times, like so, pull it tight, lubricate, pull it down onto my solid ring, trim off the tag, ready to go. Now, I've got about a metre and a half because I'm not going to catch a kingfish any bigger than that. So I want to make sure that my lead is longer than the kingfish we're targeting and I'm going to attach it to a swivel. The reason why we use a swivel is because as the knife jig is going through the water, it does twist around and flutter around and it will cause a lot of line twist. The fact that we have a swivel means this line can do what it wants and leaves the rest of the main line alone. So again, we're just using a standard uni knot, loop three times through, pull tight, trim the tag, and that is ready to go and catch a heap of fish.